Well, if you're not familiar with the international player market, here's a player whose name you should know. Yoan Moncada. He's a 19-year-old switch hitting out infielder from Cuba. Baseball America has referred to him as a dynamic player with premium bat speed who has, to quote, an enticing combination of power and speed along with a strong track record of hitting. A lot of tools there. So, Bob, uh, Jack and I are fascinated to hear your dissertation on international spending limits and the <laughs> Office of Foreign <laughs> Asset and Control. Just take about 10 minutes to explain. Now, I, thank you. you. Go? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Basically, what you need to know is this. He's a premier talent. A lot of teams want him. Some teams won't be able to sign him after June 15th because they've already spent a ton of money signing international players this offseason. The Yankees are among those. So the clock's ticking for him to get released by the Office of Foreign Asset and Control here, Jack. And then have these players, uh, these teams, jump in and try and sign him. Right, and that's why the clock is ticking for the Yankees because the money they've already spent. But Bob, it's an interesting guy to talk about, but it's also a difficult guy to talk about. Baseball America reported that he did have a workout for the Yankees. Reaching out to some Yankee people today, they said, "Yes, we like him. Everybody likes this guy." But it's tough to put a dollar figure on what you might pay for this guy because he's not unblocked yet. Major League Baseball has said he is a free agent, but he's in limbo right now, so he can't negotiate with anyone. He can't sign with anybody if he can't negotiate with anyone. One other thing about the Yankees, since they're already over that spending limit, if they decide that this guy is a $30 million or $40 million a year player, they're going to get taxed 100% on that. So he's going to become a $60 million or an $80 million player. This is an evolving story. It's one that's not settled yet. But, yes, the Yankees are interested in him, as are a lot of other teams. Well, the thing is about so many Cuban players, you really don't know him. He's relatively unscouted. They've heard great things about him, and he did work out for the Yankees. But, Jack, I think I talked to the same people that you did. They just don't know enough. I mean, it, you really are gambling on such a young talent. But enough people have said that this is the real deal, that I think the Yankees probably will go full bore and spend what it takes to get him.